everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna show you how to add a page load animation to your site in Webflow. Let's do it. All right, so today I'm gonna show you how to make this animation right here. So when I load my page for about a second or two, I have this little animation and once the page is finished loading, it disappears and fades away so that I can just start browsing my site as normal, okay? So this isn't gonna be hard. We're gonna do it in three main steps. The first step is we're gonna find the Lottie file or the animation file that we wanna use on our page load. Secondly, we're gonna style and fix this animation to our screen. And then thirdly, we're gonna add a page load animation so that it only appears and disappears when you load your page. All right, so without further ado, here we go. All right, so step one, you wanna go and sign up for a site called LottieFiles.com. I will have this link in the description below. It's an awesome site. You can see it's just a marketplace of free Lottie files, free animations that you can use on your site for free. So pick one you like. I'm gonna use the same one as from the last video, this little Chester character, All right? So I'm just gonna click on it. I'm gonna hit download as a Lottie JSON file and boom. All right, so let me go grab Chester. I'm just gonna drop him right into our page. And I just wanna bring him up to the top just so I, just so I know where he is, okay? So there's our Lottie animation, there's Chester. I want to um, I want to fix his position on top of our page just so he's always at the top. He doesn't move when we scroll. I just want him locked at the top of the page. So I'm going to go fixed. Uh, I'm going to bring his stacking Z index up to 99,999 as high as I can. So he sits on top of everything. Um, I want to do full fixed position just so he's right in the middle of our, our viewport. I'm going to set our background to white just so, you know, he stands out above the page. And then the last thing I wanna do is, I wanna to go to our Lottie settings. Right here, you can either click this little gear here or you can come up here with your Lottie selected and come over here. And I just wanna loop it. I just wanna loop it, okay? So Chester just walks forever. So if I preview this, we can see that Chester's just walking. But you can't see the rest of our site because he's fixed and as I scroll, He's just sitting there walking. So what we need to do is step three, is we need to set up an interaction so that this only happens when we reload our page. So how do we do that? With Chester selected, with our Lottie animation selected, I'm gonna come over to our interactions tab and I'm gonna set up a page trigger, all right? And we wanna do a page load trigger. Remember, we only wanna trigger this animation as our page loads. So, or after our page is loaded. So I'm gonna hit page load and we're gonna have two options. So when page starts loading or when page finishes loading. For our case, we want to make Chester disappear after the page is finished loading. So he can walk as much as he wants, but once the page is finished loading, we need him to fade out and disappear so we can look at the rest of our site. So when page finishes loading, we're gonna start an animation and we're just gonna add a new one and I'm gonna call it Chester uh, page load. I'm gonna hit add an action. And first thing I wanna do is I want to hide and show this little guy. After our page is done loading, we need to hide him. We need to make him disappear so we can see the other elements underneath this fixed animation. So I'm gonna hide him. I'm gonna come down here to hide show and display none. But I don't want this to really happen until mm, maybe a second after the page loads. So if the page loads super fast, like you have good internet, you won't even see the animation. So even if your page loads immediately, you'll still have a second of Chester walking. All right, so let's see how that looks. We'll preview, you get a second and then he disappears, okay? Now we wanna make it a little smoother. Well, we're gonna come up to start and we're just gonna add an opacity interaction. So we'll hit opacity and we want our opacity to drop fully down to zero but we don't want it to happen immediately. We want at least a second delay, just like our hide show. So here's the logic. Chester will be walking over all of our elements in a fixed position as the page loads. The second the page is done loading, after one second, he will start to fade away. And after two and a half seconds, the element will actually be hidden from the entire page and we can look at the rest of our website. So let's see if it's looking good. So there he goes, and then he fades away. Now we can tinker with this as we want, Maybe we want him to walk a little bit longer before he disappears. So, you know, we can start this, we can like push our delay back to maybe one and a half seconds 
and things like that. You can tinker with it. So that's it guys. We just set up a page load animation using Lottie files and Webflow interactions. It took no more than five to six minutes and our site looks awesome now. You can use any Lottie file you want for your site. You don't have to use creepy Chester with his weird looking stash. You can use anything you want. Remember, LottieFiles.com has all these free assets for you that you can use. So seriously, sign up for a free account. It's amazing. I use them all the time and you know, you get, you get thousands and thousands of different animations that you can use for your site. So that's it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, go down and smash that like button. If you want to see more content like this in the future, consider subscribing. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions, go down in the comments. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you all for being here. I really, really appreciate your support. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.